Good morning, Newcastle, and welcome to Newswatch election coverage. This is the morning of Tuesday, November 3rd. And um, let's uh, keep in mind, and we'll do some things on regular Newswatch, but as we go through, these are unofficial results. This is what is through thus far. And um, everybody talks about the presidential race. Uh, and uh, in Lawrence County, Donald Trump has outperformed Joe Biden 29,071 to 15,557, um, just to give you an idea. Now, let's go to the state election. The state election, Republican Heather Heidelberg. She received 24,960 votes in Lawrence County, while Shapiro received 18,307 in Lawrence County. Auditor General, Representative Tim DeFure received 26,913. Uh, uh, excuse me, Republican Tim DeFure received 26,913. Democrat Nina Ahmed received 15,000. So, Auditor General in Lawrence County, won by the Republicans also. Here's something that I thought she, uh, re she was a very good speaker. Stacy uh, Grady for State Treasurer, 26-521. She outperformed Joe Torcello, 16-246. So the state treasurer won in this county by a Republican. Representative for Congress, Mike Kelly, outperformed Christy Gibbis. Elder Vogel outperformed Stephen Kazaner. And um, General Assembly... Chris Sonata, congratulations, Chris. He has retained his seat, 14,808 to 11,805. And uh, the difference being the independent <coughs> in that race, Daryl Audia, who gathered 2,800, 805 votes, uh, Congratulations, Chris. State Representative Aaron Bernstein um, also winning. As uh, these are, and, and locally, this is uh, what you got. You, you've got Chris, Aaron, <coughs> Excuse me, it's been a, a long night. And uh, Mike Kelly also winning uh, in Lawrence County. So, and winning uh, in their areas. So, uh, looks like we have these... Uh, We've retained everything that we've had in the past, and uh, I'll put that up there. Now, um, there was only one resolution question, and it passed over in Bessemer Borough. Um, 17th District, Park Wentley winning, okay. And that kind of, that area just touches 
the corner of Lawrence County. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what the, you know, it's one of those things where it's just there. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to do uh, Mike Kelly uh, justice. And uh, I couldn't find this picture. There you go. Mike, you're on. So, um, congratulations to uh, the winners. And uh, we'll uh, get this and put this like this. Your congressman, Mike Kelly. State representative of the 10th Congressional District, Aaron Bernstein, and congratulations to Chris Sonata, which, uh, you know, <clears throat> I want to make mention of this. Um, all three of these guys are people person. You, you, they give back to you. And uh, Chris, really a person... Uh, that constantly gets back if you have a problem. I congratulate him totally. Great job. Now, um, let's talk about the, the state totals as uh, they've been reported here. The number... I believe I threw around was around 15%. Oh, well, um, I was totally right. Uh, as Donald Trump, with uh, the votes, excuse me, that have come in, totally... Um, outperforming Joe Biden. Roughly, if you say 42.9, uh, I'll give Joe 43%. 55.87, giving Trump 56%. The 13% margin there is like this. Where are the outstanding ballots? Well, when you look at Pennsylvania and you look at the outstanding ballots that they're talking about, they're in places that are close to the fracking areas. Thus, With that, the idea that um, <clears throat> Pennsylvania could flip seems very rare. And here's what you have. You have a line. Right now, the way Fox has this, they have a 213 to 38. Okay. However, Georgia... Leaning Trump's way with 16 votes. North Carolina leaning Trump's way. And there's almost a, a two-point lead in both states. Trump with a huge lead in Pennsylvania. We talked about this as a lead in Pennsylvania is almost some 14 points. So I don't see, and I could be wrong, I can't see Biden overtaking that when the ballots that are out, there's some in Beaver County, Allegheny County, Fulton County, all fracking counties. You've got Center and you've got Philadelphia. 
Now, if a majority of those ballots, and I'm quoting the major news sources, okay, as they're on, if a majority of those ballots are not, are, are, are spread out and, and you have an even distribution, Philadelphia will find it hard to carry the day because the it's 85 to 15 in some of the locations in the county by counties where Trump won in, in Pennsylvania. In other words, when you look at Lawrence County, 64-34. That's a 30-point margin. Okay, when you look at Franklin County, 48-9. to nine. I mean, that's a 40-point margin. 48,000 to 9,483. I don't see, Green County was another one they mentioned, 10,700 to 2,000, 2,200. I don't see Biden being able to pick up Pennsylvania. With that, you, you've got some uh, pretty interesting stuff and we're looking at Fox News. Uh, they are conservative in their call. They, they've, uh, Alaska being way out there uh, has already gone overwhelmingly to um, Trump. Uh, okay. So uh, with that, you have states that when we fill in our map, okay, looking at the map with Fox and knowing that Wisconsin, and here's what they're saying, Wisconsin, Michigan, North Carolina, and Georgia. We get the the same number Fox has. They have it at um, 213 to 238. Ours is 218 to 237. And the difference is uh, uh, the uh, they've divided Nebraska's electoral votes up and Alaska. And there's the five-vote difference. Um, but you get the same numbers. With that, it seems inconceivable that Biden, give, give Biden Nevada. He's up, this is, a, this is an area where he's up two points. <clears throat> and uh, with being up two points, there's two-thirds of the counties reporting. Now, if he stays true that he wins the matter. So that puts him at 243. After that, it is Donald Trump's race basically to lose in Georgia okay Trump up and let me get this down up by two points up by two points in North Carolina up by 12 13 points in Pennsylvania up by six points in Michigan and up by a solid four points 
in Wisconsin. Now, if given what you have, if Trump takes Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, that gets him to 264. It would be very difficult to, even if he splits the South, he's up by four points. When you look at North Carolina, two points, and two points, two full points in Georgia. So one of these breaks the president's way. Let's say it's North Carolina. Trump wins 279 to 243. If he gets both of them, it's a mute point. I, find, I you know, so I'm just putting this out there, and they're showing a, 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 on one of the major nukes casts, they're talking about Pennsylvania. And they're they're giving uh, a stat fifty seven to forty three now, so that's fourteen points. We said all he has to do is get fifteen percent, and it, I showed you where it's like eighty five fifteen in favor of Donald Trump. So with the balance going across. I believe that you're going to see, and this is just uh, speculation, I believe that you're going to see the next president of the United States, Donald Trump, return his seat uh, and return to office. My uh, thinking on the thing is this. You, you cannot, and, and let me be clear, I don't believe that you can ignore the middle of the country the way the Democrats have ignored it. I, I mean, I know there's not, people go, well, there's not a lot of votes in Oklahoma. There's seven. And as soon as you put it together with Kansas, you got 13 votes. And now you're covering a lot of ground that maybe nobody wants, uh, okay? They're not spending the time, the, the, the money there. And what happens is you get a situation where Nebraska split. And they must have some kind of goofy way that them and Maine uh, do the, the vote. Okay. But given that, a majority of Nebraska was won by the president. And I'm looking at uh, one of the network maps up there too. And they, it's just a... If Colorado and New Mexico weren't in the way, the president takes the whole middle of the country. Uh, Illinois, Illinois, Colorado, and New Mexico, the only places where Donald Trump gets stopped. Uh, okay, other, and I want to do this. Otherwise, he has a clear and unprecedented run to the end zone. I mean, in all sincerity, there was nothing but between him and the finish line in that middle. Uh, and, 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 you know, 
I'm laughing a, a little bit because they're looking at things. When you look at Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and, and you're looking at the fracking issue, and you're, you're, you're seeing that, and now they're looking at North Carolina. And, and I don't care. Most of the, looking at most, at North Carolina, most of the state red. They're looking at Milwaukee, most of the state red, and they're saying that Biden underperformed in the cities. Milwaukee, Philadelphia, Detroit were underperformed by Biden. Thus, it becomes a, a real question on where any absentee ballots are and is that going to come back? I mean, um, this is, uh, and, I, I, and I'll show you this map right here. It is uh, interesting. As look at this uh, scenario here. In all five of those states, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. The president is up by significant percentage points. Perci what I define as uh, significant percentage points, Pennsylvania up by like 14. That, that's significant. Because if you have a standard deviation you're not going to get the recovery of those votes. And even if you're saying most of the people who voted were Democrat, Pennsylvania, and they're just showing it now, most of the people that voted were Democrats, they voted for Trump. You've got some Trump Democrats there. I don't see how the president loses that margin. And with it, you know, Alaska is going to be the thing that evens it up at 238 if Pennsylvania goes to Trump. So we're all at 238, and then you've got Wisconsin, four percentage points. Not seeing him pick up four and five. I say he sweeps that Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And all together, you're talking 30, 46. 46 delegates. That puts him in 259 with the lead in North Carolina and Georgia. And the Georgia lead keeps increasing a little bit more, a little bit more. The Georgia lead now up to three points. So, and give, <coughs> use the same thought process, give Joe Nevada, give it to him. It's, it's really, uh, not going to happen. So um, we'll be back with Newswatch Morning. We wanted to give you the election update and uh, make sure that you stay tuned to NCTV 45. We're available anytime on your time. I think I'm going to get some coffee so that I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed when we come back. Have a great morning, everybody.